Hi, I'm Matt Kane. I'm principal engineer on the ecosystem team at Netlify. One of my responsibilities is to make sure web frameworks work perfectly on our platform, including contributing to open source projects and writing our own integrations. I'm going to talk about how we were able to help add support for Netlify Edge functions to lots of frameworks using a Vite plugin. We launched Netlify Edge functions in April this year and had SSR support for loads of frameworks on day one or shortly after. All of the ones you can see here allow you to deploy your whole site to Netlify Edge functions and serve them from the edge for super fast SSR. Of course, most of these frameworks use Vite, and I'm going to talk about how this helped us support so many frameworks so quickly. But first, quick introduction to Netlify Edge functions. These run in lots of locations around the world, so they're closer to the user. They are powered by Dino, which means TypeScript works out of the box, and they need the generated code to use ES modules. The Dino environment is based on web standards, which makes it a lot easier to support different platforms. We also tried to keep the actual Edge function API as standards compliant as possible. The request and response are standard fetch request and response objects, which are supported by most frameworks. As well as supporting middleware like use cases, we wanted to make it as easy as possible to use by frameworks to do server-side rendering at the edge. So we have extra APIs to make it easier for build tools to generate edge functions. So luckily, Vite is great at doing server-side rendering on the kind of worker-like runtimes that are used on the edge, including Netlify's Dino runtime. With Vite's SSR support, we can generate self-contained ES module output and it includes a web worker target that generates code compatible with the Dino runtime. If we create a custom server entry point, we can accommodate the different request formats too. So what do we need to help a Vite powered framework support edge functions? First, we need an SSR entry point file that can invoke the framework's SSR handler. This is what you pass to the Vite CLI with the SSR flag. Each framework is a bit different here, but the general principle is the same. Take a request, return a response, with a bit of extra magic for error handling and static files. Then we need to make sure we build the SSR output in a Dino-friendly format, and that we put it in the right place for Netlify to find it. Finally, we need to generate a manifest to tell Netlify to invoke this for all requests. Most of these can be done from the Vite config, and apart from the entry point, they are largely the same for each framework. Because of this, we decided to implement them as a Vite plugin. This does everything except create the entry point. It sets the format to ES modules and the target to web worker. This works best with the Dino environment. It also disables external dependencies. Dino doesn't use node modules, and setting this ensures they're all bundled together instead. It generates the edge function manifest and also injects a manifest of static files as a virtual module, which makes it easier to skip SSR for these files. So here's how it's used. In the frameworks that have support, you don't need to do any of this yourself. It's now built in. This is just showing you how it works. Here's an example of what the entry point could look like. Once again, if you're using one of the supported frameworks, then this isn't something you'd need to write yourself. But if you're a framework author, then this should give an idea of what's involved in adding support for Netlify Edge functions. So thanks for watching this quick introduction. If you want to learn more about deploying to Netlify Edge functions, then take a look here. Most people will just need the first link where you can find out how to deploy your favorite framework to Edge functions. The second link is for framework authors who would like to deploy to Edge functions. You can learn more about the tools and APIs that we provide you, including links to the Vite plugin and more in-depth examples. Also, please do get in touch with me because I'm always happy to help with anyone who's creating one of these sorts of integrations. Best place to find me is on Twitter, where I'm a Scorbic. Goodbye, and thanks for watching.